So if you played without several guys yesterday and a couple others went down. So mm -hmm. just what's the status first of Josh Holsey, who looked like hurt his knee there? Yeah, Josh, uh, you know, over on the sideline, I think they're still going through those results as far as his MRI and those things are concerned. Coach will have, certainly have more information. It uh, doesn't look good right now, uh, but uh, but he'll have more information on, this, on that tomorrow. Anything on other guys, Carl? Uh, Trey, you know, all day today, uh, you know, game time decision on all of those guys. All those guys took part in parts of practice last week, and uh, we're expecting all of them to be, you know, to be able to go this week. You know, Justin Garrett strained a quad in the game, which he had had before, and that's where, you know, had a hard time getting back and, and, and getting it loose again uh, after he strained it early in the game. And, uh, you know, so we'll get Justin back. Uh, you know, Carl and Trey both expected back, and uh, I think that was it on defense. Do you uh, you, you talked last week about I, w I wanted the game to come down, come down to the defense, uh, having to make a stop, and, and it did come down to that Saturday with a whole bunch of freshmen on the field. What did that do for you, being able to come through with that situation? Well, it was one of the few you know bright spots, obviously, in the game. You made, you made a couple stops when you needed to. Uh, so really proud of those guys. You know, Carlton Davis, the guy, you know, balls getting thrown on him, and they've thrown it well throughout the day. Uh, he makes a play there on fourth down, really, and, and on third down, made a fine play there. So all uh, those guys, you know, you know, those situations are going to come up. They're going to arise. Well, we knew there's going to be some growing pains, and uh, you know, when you're going through this, I've been through it before. So we just got to continue to. Pay attention to detail, focus on what we need to do to be successful, uh, and uh, and that's what this football team's doing. So we, we got to improve, got to continue to improve, and uh, you know, I know these guys certainly are willing to do so. Well, let's talk about the production from a guy like Rudy Ford. What have you seen out of him these first couple of games? Well, it makes a lot of plays. You know, he's got tremendous speed and plays really fast on the field. He's got good coverage ability. I think he's got much, you know, Improved his instincts on the back end first last year being his first year angles to the ball You know uh, made a really nice job in the middle of the field on the reception area on the interception of a really nice play um, So all of those things the more snaps the more reps the game's going to slow down And uh, he's just going to continue to get better and better, but he's a talented young man uh, From from a speed standpoint that's something that's very hard to coach when he's able to cover the ground he can cover you know, we were in a, in a man situation in the red zone. They, made, they had a nice pick concept. He got through it and made a heck of a play on the ball, finished really well on the receiver in the end zone. So, uh, but, but there's some things you can't coach that he can do because of the speed. So really, you know, proud of him as he continues to progress. But again, a guy that's in the building all the time, is watching film, asking questions, and uh, continues to improve. But you said that was one of the few bright spots. Were you disappointed overall in the way you did the I was, played you know, defense? From the just early in, you know, in the first half, you got you know, four 50-50 balls down the field. If you make those plays on third down, you're off the field. We got our offense back on the field. We, we're trying to you know, put our, you know, we got to get the offense back on the field to give, give them a chance to get in some rhythm. And we were unable to do so. Uh, pleased with the red zone defense in the first two ball games to be able to, to do that. You know, so pleased with that. But, uh, you know, some run game issues in the second half of just gap control, eye control, guys trying to make plays instead of playing within the scheme and system. So we'll get those things corrected. They're all correctable. I still think we've got a good group. It's unfortunate that you, you know, sometimes you got to go through these things at times, and we're going to fight through it and, and band together and head down to Baton Rouge face a really good football team. What did you think of uh, Leonard Fournette's performance last night and what kind of challenges this Well, oh, he's a great bring? player. I think he's a guy you love to compete against. Uh, he's a great competitor. He's a big back. He's got really good vision. I mean, they've really – Run game wise, they've been the same. They've, they've always been with us, but now this guy's got some vision for the cutbacks and some of the things in the run game. But a fantastic young man, first of all, and a, a really good football player. I mean, a really talented guy. So we certainly know we've got our work cut out for us this weekend. Yeah. Well, well, how did you feel than when you faced him last year? Well, again, I think you know, as as a young player, you know, you the step from high school to college is a is a big step. Step from college to pro is a big step, and the game continues to slow down uh, for you. And uh, but, uh, you know he's a, a just a talented, talented young man. Uh, what did you think about play Castleman McKenzie? Well, very productive. You know, extremely productive in the game. Huge play there on third down. Uh, but really, you know, he played extremely well in the game. We got to get some things cleared up as far as eye control. Those things are concerned as far as some run fits. That, we just got to clean up across the board, not just Casanova, but uh, uh, but 
they, but again, I'm very, you know, any time a guy's as productive as he was, it's obviously, you know, good to see. The touchdown that they caught on Vincent, I guess you could call it that. Was there anything he could have done better on that team? Not really. You know, we need to get a better rush in those situation. Uh, you know, we had some some mismatches. We needed one win in the one on one. We were in a one on one look there. We should have won some one on ones up front. That was disappointing. Their guy did a fantastic job of buying some time. Uh, he worked himself in phase. Uh, we we knew going into the game. You know, we felt like, from a quarterback standpoint, he was better than some of the guys we were going to face in our league. And we felt like ball skill-wise, their receivers had very good ball skills down the field. So they connected on some balls, and he threw some nice balls. That was a situation where it's a 50-50. We've got to try and get it on the ground. Uh, but again, Jeremiah was in the right position to make the play. That's, that's the pleasing thing from our standpoint. I wish he would have made the play. He wished he would have made the play. But he's in position to make the play. Let's get the ball off of him next time. And that's the coaching point for a freshman right now. How concerning is mobile quarterbacks after two weeks of struggling with them, and now you have a Brandon Harris and then a Dak Prescott the next two weeks? Well, I mean, it's everybody in our league right now. So everybody we're facing on our schedule is a guy that can move around a little bit. Um, I think in the first ball game, uh, obviously, we face some things drastically different from what Louisville's ever done. You know, and there were some things, quite frankly, preparation-wise, that were difficult to, you know, to, to, to go to when Jackson became the guy that was going to be uh, running the show there, uh, and then and then last week, you know, we, we I mean, uh, excuse me, yesterday, uh, felt like we had some things we we liked and we just didn't execute very well. So we need to do a better job of that. So we'll we'll look at these things and continue to improve our football team. The last time uh, you coached Auburn in Baton Rouge uh, was 2007 when they had that game-winning touchdown. The yep. clock was going down. What are what are your memories of that? And is that kind of still staying? Well, I thought they were going to run the clock out. You know, they took a shot in the end zone, and uh, it was a well-thrown ball by Matt Flynn and, uh, and caught there in the back of the end drawer. Powers had great coverage. We were in a, I call it a run pressure, thinking they were going to center the ball, trying to, trying to give them a bad snap, and they dropped back and threw the ball. They were coming out of the huddle there, and it was ticking down. I think if we had tipped it, the uh, clock may have run out there. But, uh, hey, give them credit. They, they took a shot in the end zone to try and – win the game. I don't know. They were kind of on the fringe right there with a the field goal kicker. They were in range. Still was a longer field goal. I don't remember the exact yard line. Um, but uh, you know, they made the play when they needed to make it. Drawer was in position to make the play. And, uh, I'd, I'd take my chances again with Drawer Powers. I can assure you of that. Well, how did Mon Adams grab? What's that? How did Mon Adams Outstanding. Grab? Played very well. He's very disruptive in the game. You know, he and Dontavious continue to play well. Is he, do you think he's becoming that guy now that you hope he would be? Well, I think, you know, again, week to week, you know, we've been very pleased with the first two weeks. It's a big game for him. We need him to play very well you know, in Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. How much better can it make you immediately if you get these guys back and haven't been playing? Well, again, you know, you get you know, Trey and Carl, and, you know, expecting both of them this week, to be honest with you, but, you know, you get Justin back, and, and uh, that certainly helps you. I mean, you know, anytime you have guys that can – can make a difference in the game certainly can help you. Though. But we got to continue to bring these guys. It's a long season, so we've got to get better and improve um, with the guys we got on the field right now. And we got to do a better job of preparing our players and coaching our players and adjusting in the game and doing the things we got to do to be successful in our league. What about when Russell came oh, out? Maurice went in. Quite a bit. Maurice Swain, Devereaux played. Yeah, both of those guys played. You know, we need to play more snaps. You know, to be honest with you, I mean, it's going to be hot in Baton Rouge on Saturday. It had never been cold there. So we need to, you know, those guys got to give us some more snaps. We got to get more snaps out of those guys. We got to get more snaps out of Byron Cowell. We got to get more snaps out of President. We, we need to get more guys playing <coughs> up front. And it's going to be really important. It's going to be a hot day. And it's going to be, we'll be headbutting these guys for, for 60 minutes. So we got to be able to play more guys. Well, I know it's very early. It's only two games, but you're, you're expected to deliver. Immediately, I mean that was Gus saying it from the day he hired you. And you inherited a defense that allowed 400 yards in seven of eight games, and two games in you allowed 400 yards both games. You have had a hard time with third downs, and you can't get pass rush without Carl on the field. So what's changed thus far these two games in compared to last year for you? Well, I mean again, I think it's you know I'd rather be judged when the season is over. You know I think you know two games in is a little bit quick, but we're two and zero. Oh. Best thing about that is you got a chance to be three and zero. Oh. And uh, that's what we look forward to and starting opening our conference owner, uh, opener down in Baton Rouge. Uh, I think that from a standpoint of uh, you know, watching the tape, you see a lot of things that are very correctable that we need to improve on. Uh, you know, some of the issues we had from the f first game, from a coach's perspective, were corrected. We played much better going into this past game. 
and coming out of the film, we have arose some, some other issues we've got to continue to deal with. And uh, some of that is youth. Uh, some of that is inexperience in some, some places that may have been a player that's been in the program but hasn't played as much. Uh, so uh, we've got enough good players to have a good defense, and that's what we plan on doing. And we haven't, been, we haven't played consistently that standard yet, uh, but we certainly are working to that, to that goal, and I feel like it'll happen. We'll talk about the, the difficulty. You face two teams that kind of sprayed you out a little bit. You're going to face a team with two big backs that kind of pounded at you. The prep for that during a, a week, how, how, how different is that for you? Well, it's just, you know, it's, it's just, you know, it's something that we work on in camp and we get some two back looks because we understand in our league you got to be able to play in our division two back teams and so those are things we work on a lot and uh, we'll get back to those things we started tonight with our preparation with some of the two back looks we're going to get with our players i feel comfortable about our preparation they didn't throw the, they didn't throw the ball a lot Saturday, they have some pretty good receivers. Well, they're, they're extremely talented. Uh, Dupree and uh, Darrell, those guys outside, can really run on the top end, really good ball skills. Because of you know having to outnumber them in the run game, they're going to create some one-on-ones. And uh, those guys uh, you know, certainly can finish down the field. As long as the guy you are today, Will, I mean, the years you spent at LSU working for Nick and becoming a coordinator there, talk about what it, what it meant to you kind of coming forward, what you learned there and how important it was. Well, I really enjoyed my time there. You know, obviously we won a lot of games, but, uh, you know, Carol and I love living in Baton Rouge and the people would still have a bunch of friends there. Uh, so it's a, it's a, you know, it's a football fever place that enjoys the Tigers and uh, the LSU Tigers, not the Auburn Tigers, but, uh, but uh, it's a great environment on game day to go into Tiger Stadium. We look forward to that. They uh, haven't been there since they changed it all, so we're looking forward to seeing all of that. But, uh, Again, it's going to be a great environment. It's a, the rivalry of Auburn and LSU uh, since, I don't know, what the 90s has been as good a rivalry as there is in college football as far as the games and what they've come down to and how they've decided the Western Division. Uh, this certainly one game does not make or break your season, uh, this early especially. But, uh, but our, our players understand the importance of the game, and certainly having been on that side, their players understand the importance as well. Well, what's the most important thing that your defense needs to do better to slow down LSU's running?